What's up my beautiful people? How are you today and how are you doing? Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Rehe Makov CJ and the last time we were talking about the association that surroundings we should be having around ourselves as. There's a lot that happens when we're influenced, though we take it as a light thing, but we're influenced by our surroundings, we're influenced by the music we listen to, we are influenced by people we talk to, people that surround us, we are influenced by the books we read, the movies we watch. It's a lot nature and there's a saying that says, uh, tell me your friends and I tell you who you are. If you interviewed or evaluated people in your lives and you saw that some people are really not leading you towards where you want to be in five years to come, it's high time we do some cutting off. When I am starting, I like the same people normally say, oh, I think this friend of mine cut me off. I think this friend of mine has broke me. I think this friend of mine no longer wants to talk to me. Hey, if you're out there and you broke me or you cut me off, I really don't have any issue with that. As long as you did it for your own good and it's leading you towards your personal growth, I don't have any issue. So if you're out there and you're among those people, they are really cut off. And you feel like this friend of yours has cut you off. It's high time you just realize it is okay for people to do what is best for them. Because in five years to come, I wouldn't want to be there and I'm the reason why you haven't had any growth. Hmm? Why you're not flourishing? Why you're not thriving? Just because I'm your friend. So waking up and you cut off some people, it is okay. I've not said it's an easy thing. It's actually very, very hard. So being a being interacting with people and all of a sudden, you have to choose to cut them off from your life or you have to choose to they associate or you have to choose to give them less time you know it's not an easy thing to do but if you really see that in your five to ten years to come where you're living right now with your friends it's not where you would want to be and then it's high time you just look through your list and see what you can do basically using these three things one option is cutting them off when i say cutting them off it's completely and also cut them off they can be your friends, it can be your family, whoever you feel they're not leading, it's where you want to be in five to ten years to come. It's high time you just find a way of cutting them off. Because at the end of the day, they wouldn't want to be there in ten years and you're regretting why did I cut off this person? Or how did I reach where I am? Like I thought my life was getting better, I thought I had friends, I thought I was glowing, I thought I was okay, getting towards my dream, what went wrong? And that is exactly your surroundings. So when you cut off some people, it hurts. It's like plucking off part of your skin, actually. It's not an easy thing to bring a used of people and all of a sudden you wake up and you no longer talk to them. So when you cut people off, you give yourself a space of bringing in new people, perhaps. That's why they say that once a, dr a door closes, it's easy for another one to open. But most of the time, we wonder what will happen if I close this door. Will I be able to have friends again? Will I be able to have a partner? Will I be able to date again or have a relationship? But sometimes it's for the best. Because God has good plans for us. All that we don't know. And obviously they're in the future. So when you cut off people that is one option that you have another second option that you have is reducing on the communication with the people you're having okay having less interactions with the people you've been having okay so if i used to meet let's say yvonne if i used to meet yvonne every day if i want to reduce how i'm doing it if i see that I, where I want to be in five years, if one may not lead me there, what I can do is to make sure that I reduce on the time I've been meeting the one. If I've been seeing her every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, every day, maybe I spend six hours with the one. What I can do, I can start seeing the twice a week. With time, it is once a week. With time, it's once a month. And before you know it, I go cutting off my time and I'm concentrating on things where I want to be in five years to come. The time I used to give her, if it was six six hours every day, I can reduce it maybe to four hours a week. Okay? When I say four hours a week, this goes with meeting people physically, this goes with calls, this goes with texting, WhatsApp, social media, wherever you interact with people with, you just have to reduce it to somewhere where you feel 
you want to be in five to ten years and what i would advise you to do is to make sure that you meet the right people when i say meet the right people is to associate with people who are leading you to where you want to be towards your passion towards your your vision who are leading you to exactly where you want to be what are they telling you are they, are they compatible with where you want to be your dreams your goals are they those people who motivate you are those people who influence you which business are you having with them every time you're with them do you feel you're challenged do you feel they say something and you're like oh i think i should try out this so the third thing you have to do is to keep the people that are leading into where you want to go that is your dreams that is uh, your goals people who are pushing you people who are challenging you people who are motivating you people who inspire you every day people who encourage you and these are the people they can be actually people who influence you positively people who talk good for you and when i say people talk good to you sometimes it depends some people may be honest with the conversations they're having with you which are actually bitter like the bitter truth but it depends how you take it in though it's also good to have people who criticize you because they push you harder if they say your business is not working very well they push you harder to work towards that but that depends on which level of growth are you on because if you know you're still trying to lift yourself up it's not good to be having negative people around you so that's why we say cut them off but if your level of growth has upgraded it is very very okay for you to listen to those people who are giving you that negative attitude maybe they are the reason why you're going to upgrade your business why you're going to go on the next level because if they say you can't do it you come back to prove them i can actually do this so you need people who are passionate towards what you're passionate so if it's business if it's reading books if it's uh maybe church if it's um anything that you're interested in and after doing that there's one thing that should be a reminder that while you're in this growth journey or that so-called hunting for friends i know it's very hard especially when you grow up the more we grow the more we have less friends because people are engaged somewhere else people have families people have jobs you spend almost eight nine hours on your job and in a week you have maybe a Saturday and a Sunday where do you find time to be interacting with everyone so find people who are in your league of what you want to be in five or ten years to come and we have talked about passion another thing you have to consider is are they vulnerable enough for you if I'm choosing a friend are they vulnerable enough for me do I feel so risky tell them my secret to tell them what I'm going through to open up to them if you're not vulnerable enough to say anything towards those people then you should have a variety of friends to know that if I want business I go to this person if I have an issue I go to this person if I want a problem solving technique I go to this person if I want to have some fun I have a category of people where I go if I want to relax my mind there's somewhere I go if I want to be motivated inspired there's some YouTube channel I go to or there's some person I talk to so when we say a variety of people still this is towards your dreams towards your goals okay okay you want to say okay right. <laughs> our friends who are vulnerable whom you feel free to tell your darkest points that you're not limited you don't feel shy or you don't feel they will judge you or you don't feel they will actually intimidate you or they want to give you a solution okay so don't let yourself have just one category of friends have enough of them but know the category you're having okay and another thing you should be even having friends while you're looking for your friends make sure you have accountability friends whom you can rely on if i tell you i've started this project can you push me harder to go on with my project can you keep finding out how far with my project hmm? those are the people we should be looking for that every time you're looking for accountability pattern that you know who to go to you know this person is going to keep pushing me this person is going to keep asking me you told me you're going to start this project what happened you told me you're going to 
do this maybe let's say this uh, business what happened you haven't started so when someone pushes you or finds out you're accountable to them to give them their feedback okay and that will lead you for not giving excuses every now and then so make sure that the friends you're having they're very very well listed and i think i will tell you while you have gotten those new friends or the new association please make sure that you know that people you're joining all the friends you're making the new friends you're trying to make maybe they already have a well established circle so you're trying to just penetrate in you're just trying so be patient be patient enough to know that the new category or the new people you're joining they already had a circle so when someone doesn't pick your calls or oh, don't text back in time don't be so mad to be like why would this person text me i thought she's my friend i thought we just got in touch i saw her as a friend and now she's not texting me back or she's not picking my call people are busy people always have something they are going through that you may not know on a daily basis so it's not always about you okay it's not always about you that every time you have to do something or you have to reach out to someone, they should get back to you as soon as possible. Maybe they have family issues, maybe it's work related, maybe it's, you know, be patient with people, the new people that you're meeting. And be intentional. When I say be intentional, make sure that you're looking for the right friends who are leading you somewhere. Which friends do you want? Do you want friends for fun? Do you want to date for fun? Or you just want to have the next level by the time you say we're cutting off then we're reducing all the time we've been spending with but this means that actually where we are leading to lie like we're saying there okay <sighs> you know your friends more than me i can't come here and I start uh dictating for you what to do for your friend a or friend said you know this friend is this kind of a friend okay and when you know your friends it's so easy for you to know how to handle each and everyone when you know their strength and their weakness okay that when i know this friend this is her greatest weakness i will know how to handle when the weakness comes if i know maybe this person is not so good at making calls but you know maybe they are good at physical meeting if you know it's a business or it's something that is really so important then you make a call and do your appointment whether it's one week before or two weeks before so know what works for each and every person that you're surrounding because our success depends on who is surrounding us what are they making us watch hmm? are they also telling you the latest movies okay are they watching documentaries are they watching personal involvement things what exactly do they make you watch what exactly do they make you think what exactly do they make you do where do they take you because like we said, people are surrounding you, they have a great impact. If they go in the bar, you'll be in the bar. If they go to church, you'll be in the church. If they go more of outings, you always be out. So find out where do your friends go. If they don't read books, just as I won't be reading any book. If they're always maybe, let's say, listening to audios, you'll find yourself actually watching. Sometimes they say it's by osmosis. You may not even know how you're leading there. I'm a live example that I used to have uh, one of my friends actually used to like sad songs and I used to like more of uh, gospel songs um, slow slow songs okay slow music and some I never had sad songs in my music folders I never had any folder and being around her actually it made me start listening to sad songs even when I didn't intend it I found myself listening to the sad songs maybe she might have been having her reasons why she was listening to the sad songs but now me listening to them I also had to be having a reason but sometimes maybe the reason was not so there maybe because I was influenced by the one I've been with for some good time who listen to sad songs so it can happen in the way you don't understand that when someone is always listening to the someone's you end up also listening to the someone's hmm? So choose the kind of people you want to be around. My future in 10 years to come, I don't think I should be having this kind of lifestyle. Okay? So look around, see people who have their lifestyle. Do you like their lifestyle? Yes. If you don't like their lifestyle, then be like, hold on, hold on. Nah, nah. I have to think about this. I have to think twice before I make this decision. Okay? When I say we are supposed to have friends, 
we can't only have friends who are physical. Okay, let's say maybe you got friends. No, I can be and I have a friend, a virtual friend, like a virtual friend. YouTube has very many people who can be your friends. You may not meet them, you may even not know them, they may even not know you, but they have data out there that benefits you each day, that feeds your soul, that stirs you, that every time you listen to someone, you're like, oh, you're feeding my soul, you're inspiring me. So it's not always about I know you, you know me. No, we can have virtual friends, and that is very, very okay. So choose people you follow. Which people are you following? Let's say Instagram, let's say uh, YouTube. Are you following people who are feeding you something that is feeding your soul? If I'm watching this person's YouTube channel, what do I pick out of it? If you find that there's nothing you're picking out of it, darling, if ever it's mine, please don't watch my debt again because I treasure your time and I want you to feeding your time knowing what you're doing is actually leading you to your 10 to 20 folds or 20 years to come okay so having a bunch of friends is very 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 okay i remember i met one person yes she's um one of the richest women in in uganda at one moment maybe you know her so i approached her and i was like hello i introduced myself and i told her i want you to mentor me she looked at me she said my name she didn't forget my name she said Rema, i want to be honest with you i won't be able to find time to mentor you but all i know there's a lot of data for you that is out there that i have on social media or on um internet where you can find exactly what you want from me because meeting me i may not actually have time for you but what i give out there is enough for you and that was so satisfying and from that day, trust me, my life was never the same. Because I just understood that even sometimes when we're yearning for people, maybe to be our mentors, there's a lot that you can get even when you're not meeting those people physically. It can be a call, it can be through their internet, social media, whatever they post if it speaks to you. Call that person your virtual friend. Which friends are you having? Which category of friends are you having? Or when you sat down, which friends did you say that you're having? Not forgetting your partner. Is your partner your friend? If it's not your friend, what are you looking to us to do? What what makes you think is not your friend? Or what makes you think you're not compatible enough? So until then, I love you. Bye-bye.